Even when I'm home, people normally speak Bemba. Cause sometimes the rain comes to grow the flower. Sometimes the rain comes to drown it up. We must be covered from our creator. What it do, baby? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back. Ain't that what you always say every time? No, but I'm back, like on the real though. I'm back what it do baby hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here make sure you comment like and subscribe turn on your post notification bell right there at the very bottom so before we dive into this video i'd like to acknowledge all new subscribers thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel your subscription means a lot to me and i just really appreciate so for those who don't know me my name is maunda let's not complicate things i hope you guys would subscribe stay become a part of the family I really appreciate and I'd like to give a huge shout out to Mwenya Mulando, Man in Pink, Tukuza, Lydia Lili, Teddy Walia, Jin Bambiko, Leah Piri, Sab Made It, um, I forgot the rest guys but just know that I appreciate all of you so in this video, I'm basically going to be telling you 20 facts about me. First fact is, I've been the only mom that every school I've attended. So, if you're asking about me, they'll be like, Ah, oh, you know mom, oh yeah, that girl, go to that class, you find her. Like, it was amazing to actually be the only mom at the schools that I attended, because you wouldn't be really hard to miss you know i have a phobia for rats i hate rats rodents mice mouse rats rats you name it i hate them number three i love cheese i know right you're like monday you're contradicting how do you hate rats but like cheese guys i mean i just love cheese Oof like you can deny me eggs but give me cheese <sighs> i wrote them down so i don't forget them i have a voice but and the energy to sing but i always sing off key i always go out of key like i can never stay in key and i don't know why that is but it is what it is and yeah I'm allergic to sardines and pork. The third thing I'm allergic to is a secret because you guys can try and kill me. So I'm not trying to tell you guys everything. I'm not trying to put myself really, really out there. But yeah, pretty much. Um, I have four brothers and one sister. Number seven, I speak more Bemba than Debella because even when I'm home, people normally speak Bemba. We don't speak in Debele, like. I understand a few things I understand I can understand Zulu I can understand Sutu a little bit like you know bit, bits and bits of it because it's kind of like similar but speaking I can only speak very minimal in the belly uh, number eight I'm an introvert with extrovert tendencies yes guys I love my space I love being in my own space by myself reading a book watching a movie listening to music or just thinking reflecting or actually writing because when I'm sad, I like to write a lot. So, yeah. But when I'm outside and I'm where there's a huge crowd of people, I'm obviously going to talk to those people. You know, it's rude to just be there like, um. So, you get what I'm saying, right? Um, number nine, I'm a huge Arrow fan. Oliver Queen is bae. I don't care what y'all say. Oliver Queen is bae. That is my man. Oliver Queen is baby. That man is baby. He'll forever be baby. Like, I don't know. I just have a thing for the green arrow. So, number 10. I danced to burn it up and run the show at my junior secondary school. It used to be at MCM Mkana Trust School. In Kitswe. In Kana East. In Zambia. 2010 to 2011. Ah! You must have seen me on that stage. I was really killing it. 
thank god there were no phones then so nobody would really take a video of you you know you wouldn't find it on social media like you know it wasn't a thing recording wasn't a thing then so you know we're safe in the streets we're safe <laughs> number 10 i commanded my crush to be my boyfriend yo and he was like okay cool no problem I mean, listen, we, we can really have a discussion on this. He embarrassed me in front of my friends. And then he asked for my number, right? He's like, oh, yeah, can I have your number? And because I need to talk to you about something serious. And I was like, I don't want to give you my number. He was like, come on, can I have your number? And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So when I gave him my number, he texted me. He's like, I'm so sorry that happened. I didn't mean to disrespect you the way I did. Da, 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 da. And I was like, for disrespecting me starting monday you're my boyfriend and he was like okay no problem and i was just like it was that easy but anyways number 12 i prefer pumps and heels to sneakers guys i love everything lady like like heels flats i'm not a sneaker person i'm i'm just not a sneaker person i don't know why but i'm just not a sneaker person Number 13, I don't wear booty shorts in public. I mean, I do own booty shorts, but I just wear them privately, like when I'm in my room or something. I'm just not that person to wear them in public. Like, you never see me in public with booty shorts. Like, it's not my thing. People say, oh my God, you got a body for it. But that's just not me. I'm uncomfortable. So it's just not me. Um, number 14, I have the coolest parents ever I can talk to my parents about anything and everything like I like this boy oh this guy wants to take me out on a date can I go what do you think oh this and that happened what do you think da 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 you know something like that I can actually laugh with them they're like my friends you know they're my parents but my friends you get my friends in the sense that I don't lose that respect for them being my parents you know they're still my parents but we have that friendship where we can talk about issues talk about what's bothering me and you know so on and so forth number 15 I'm good at crafts I'm good at making crafts I like making crafts and it is what it is um, number 16 I was dragged by my shirt by a boy for liking him guys I like this boy and when he found out he done grabbed me by my shirt don't ever say that again and i was like ugh baby boy i'm not gonna do it again but now we all grown you know stuff like that don't happen no more but i'm gonna share a story with you guys story time about this concerning this specific point i did ask for permission to do that story by the way so don't come at me like oh my god you're outing somebody da, 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 and i'm going to change the name for control exactly so number 17 i was almost expelled from school during my junior high because of my friends see we had those extra lessons right those that you had when you were in grade 9 or grade 12 or grade 7 by then i was in grade 9 and so we went out to buy candy before class but then everybody was coming late to school that day my friends and when they saw me with my other friends by the small shop thingy we call it canton by in zambia so the small booth where you buy stuff they all dropped off there i told their parents leave me here so when we went back to school my history teacher at the time he goes like you lumps of shit can you go to the head teacher's office <laughs> so we went to the head teacher's office and she's like what happened and everybody was like oh my god my parents were bringing me to school then i saw maunda and them and the other girls like i saw maunda and them and everyone was like i saw maunda and them everybody's like i went with maunda to buy candy and then it was crazy the head teacher was like i see your problem i'm going to expel you and i didn't get expelled um number 18 I played girl soccer during my junior high. Ah, it was so rough. 
but it was really fun because I actually played it with some of my classmates and so on and so forth and number 19 Cadbury is forever my favorite chocolate I love it so much like you have no idea uh, 20 I graduated architecture school this week my bachelor's I got it <laughs> power did you just hear my stomach cry because my stomach has this tendency of crying so yeah your girl it's a graduate officially or should I say officially <laughs> but it is what it is so guys thank you for watching this video let me know what y'all think Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell at the very bottom. Till next time, peace. Cause sometimes the rain comes to grow the flower. Sometimes the rain comes to drown it up.